welcome to another Illustrator lesson. Uh, this is another beginner lesson. We're going to talk about how objects are arranged on your screen. So you may have noticed when we were doing our uh, shapes lesson that every time you drew an object, so I'm going to go in here, I'll find a star, and we'll make this a different color than what we just had. And every time you draw something, it ends up being on top of all the other shapes that are out there on your screen. So that becomes an issue if you want to, um, you know, have other shapes come up on top, or if we start to use some of the um, uh, Pathfinder tools and things like that, we need to have one shape on top of another for it to uh, function properly. You need to arrange your objects. And there's a couple ways to do that. The easiest way is to right click on your object, and you'll see uh, down below here it says a range. And then there's four options. There's bring to front, bring forward, send backward, and send to back. And you'll see the key commands are here. Now I'm on a Mac, so it has the command key, which is this like kind of squiggly thing in the middle here. But it's shift command, and this is the these are the bracket keys next to the letter P on the keyboard. So on a on a PC, I believe it would be um, control um, shift control bracket. Uh, well, I'll look into that and, and write that into the tutorial. Uh, but um, it's a different set of keys, and the key commands are actually very useful. And there's going to be there's you're going to want to um, use these. So uh, instead of it being command bracket, it would be control bracket on a uh, PC. So this is how it would go. So if I just send it to backward once, and I'll use the um, the menu just so you can see. So I'm going to go send backwards, and you'll see that that star now went behind this rectangle. So if you imagine the shapes you drew as a deck of cards on your keyboard, if I hit command and I'm going to hit the um, the bracket key, the right bracket, which is the one not right next to the letter P, but the one next to that. And that will bring it to front, and the one right next to the letter P will send it backward. You can see that it was going backwards behind these objects one at a time. And if I hit the command bracket, right bracket, it's going to bring it forward. Command left bracket will send it backwards. If you want to bring it all the way to the front, let's say you drew like a thousand things on your screen, and you need to bring your object all the way to the front, you would have to hit shift command bracket. So or shift control bracket on a PC, and that will send it all the way to the back or bring it all the way to the front. So very useful tools to know. Um, and it works also with grouped objects. So if I did, took this and I grouped it, remember command G is group, or I can right click and just select group. Um, there's also a group button in your um, properties window. So let me undo that just so we can see that. You can, um, quick actions right here, it says group, boom. Okay, um, and all range tools are down here as well, but it's a lot easier to learn the key commands. This is something we definitely want to learn the key commands. So if this is grouped, and I'm going to make a copy of this group, and we'll change the colors group so you can see. Like let's say I wanted these the um, the white field shapes behind the blue field shapes. It works with a group as well. So then I would hit Command uh, bracket and send that to the back. Okay, front and back. Um, if you have a singular object that's not in a group, and let's just make this a different color quickly here. This ugly color combos, but what are you going to do? Now, um, you know, you have this object and you want to start sending it behind everything. Uh, it's going to go, if things are grouped, the group is going to act as one object. Okay, so it's not just going through individual shapes within a group, it's working through an entire group. So I would have to, if I wanted to bring it and put it between these two rectangles here, uh, spatially, I would have to ungroup that, which is going to be Shift Command G or Shift Control G would ungroup that group. Then I could bring this back up through one piece at a time. Okay. Um, and if you envision everything you draw as a uh, card and the deck of cards. Um, this is a card that's coming up and through the pile. Okay. Um, another way to look at that is to um, look into your layers window, and this becomes useful when you have uh, complicated um, uh, artwork going on. 
all our stuff right now is on one layer and if you're used to using Photoshop you kind of know how layers work um, so everything we draw right now is on its own layer if we made another layer the layers can go on top and below each other as well so it's almost works similarly to way a group would work but there's a little carrot here and I'm gonna open that up and now I could see my objects and this blue dot here represents the object that is uh, selected and if you drag that I can move that object up through and I can arrange the object this way by dragging that um, up or down you can even grab it right on the name of uh, the object there and now you see that I'm moving that object all the way through to the top or all the way through to the bottom as well okay so there's a different way to go about using a range but the key commands or right clicking on the object uh, when it's selected is probably the best way to go about doing that for now okay that's your arrange tools uh, send to back bring to front command or control bracket on the keyboard